welcome. My name is Roy Smith. So you want to be an electrician. Well, I thought maybe you'd like to know about looking for a job. You're 18 to 20 years old and you don't have any experience in the workforce. How do I go about getting a job? How do I keep a job? What, what are the prerequisites to a job? Well, to become a beginning electrician, all you have to have is an able body, a able body and a, a mind that can put two and two together. It's not that tough. How do you sell yourself? How do you become reliant on your things that you look, you say, you speak, you act? When you're coming into a per, uh, when you're coming into an employer's office and you're telling them what you want as far as a job is concerned and the job is a beginning electrician, what do you have to offer that employer? Because I promise you that employer is only interested in one thing. How much money can you make him? That's the only thing he's interested in. But there's little sales tricks that you can use to help yourself be an inviting subject. A, you can look and act like you have respect for others. You can understand that he is the owner of the company. You have a limited amount of time to impress him with who and what you are. You can do that by attitude. You can do that by the way you dress. And I don't mean put on a suit and tie. This is not a suit and tie job. But your pants can be clean. Your shirt can be tucked in. You can be clean shaven. You can do the things that society wants you to be. I tell people all the time, I used to have an earring in my ear. The hole's still good. When I shake my head, I can still feel the earring dangle. But the man doesn't want to see that earring. And so I took it out a long time ago. I'm not telling you to take your earrings out. I'm just telling you there are things that you can do to sell yourself. And you can do it in a limited amount of time. To say yes and no instead of mm-hmm and mm-mm is a big difference. You have a limited amount of time. Show them that you know something. Don't be afraid to tell them that you think being an employee for them will make them money because you know what it is to be on time. You know what it is to put in a fair day's work. You know what it is to take responsibility. Responsibility is an interesting thing. I can have a handful of responsibility and I cannot make you take the responsibility. I need for you to take it. I want you to take it. But you have to reach in there and take the responsibility. I cannot make you take it. There's one drawback to it. Once you've reached in and taken the responsibility, I, your prospective owner, can hold you accountable for that which you took. I couldn't make you take it. You took it on your own, and now I can hold you accountable for what you took. To be on time to a job, what does that mean? Well, you're getting paid, say, like from 7 to 3.30. That doesn't mean you pull in the, in, in the parking stall at a minute till 7. That means your tools are on and you're ready to go to work at 7 o'clock. That's what you're getting paid for. That means you utilize your time during the day to be productive. That means you look at areas that you can see far enough ahead and in advancement to help the job go smoothly and fluently. That means that you're not standing around waiting for quitting time. That means you work up until the time it's time for you to pick up and quit. It never takes you as long to pick up as it did for you to get started. Understand that. Have a smile on your face and a can-do attitude. 
anybody can come up with reasons not to do something, but the few that shine come up with reasons that it can be done, accomplished, and done. And I mean done done, not almost done, and saying, well, it's all done except for, well, except for means it's not done done. Done done is what that owner's looking for. The electrical trade has been an asset to me and my family, and it will be to you and your family. It's a good deal, it's a good trade, and it can follow you any place in the world. Good luck in your endeavor, and welcome aboard.